Obviously, at the, at the center of a marriage is the word love. And <clears throat> love is a word that is used all throughout society. And it's used sometimes at solemn moments and sometimes at celebratory moments. Sometimes it's used casually. <laughs> but a lot of times, I believe, we don't really understand it. And we sing songs driving down the road about love. And, but today, I really... I just want you to t think about what love really is. And it's not really defined in a country music song or a good movie. The best definition of love can be found in the scripture because God is the author of love and nobody gets love more than him. First Corinthians 13, it says love. I want you to listen to all these things that love is. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It doesn't boast. It's not proud. It doesn't dishonor others. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Love never fails. God has smiled on us here. It's a beautiful night. We're thankful for each one of you and each one of you being here. As we begin tonight, Spencer and Hannah, the first thing I want to say is you guys just take a deep breath. You know, the hard part's over. Spencer, do you take Hannah to be your spouse, to share with her the laughter, to kiss away her tears, and give to her all the love in your heart as long as you both shall live? As a symbol of my love and devotion to you, I pledge to you all that I am and all that I ever will be as yours. So Spencer, let's make this official and we make this with you. Mr. and Mrs. Spencer Dean Taylor. 